Hey guys, this is PC Tech Crew, and today we're going to be teaching you the basics of HTML. Now, first of all, you're going to want to open Notepad or whatever program you prefer. I'm going to be using Notepad++. I recommend it. I'll leave a link in the description where you can download it. Now, a basic HTML document will always start with the HTML tags, so we'll add those. Okay, now let's just save it real quick. HTML. There. Um. Okay. Next, we're gonna want to add the head tags. Now, within these head tags, you don't put your general content, like your text that you want to display. But exam, for example, on Google, they ha see how they have right there Google. Well, if you want to add that title. This is my page title. Title. Now, if you save that, open up your document. This is my page title. Now, say you want to add some text to the page. You go body. Remember, this is all within the two HTML tags. Body. Then end the body tag. Now, in between those, just type what you want. Um, hello world. Refresh. Hello world. Now, we're not going to get into CSS in this tutorial. So, if you say you wanted to change the font color, add the font tags around the text you want to edit. Okay, now font, say you want to change the color color equals red save it now it's red say you wanted to make it bigger size equals 20 uh, yeah, you should probably add the quotation mark you should always add the quotation marks around it I mean you don't really have to but it's recommended now refresh that, hello world is big. Now... Okay, um... <coughs> so now you have that. Um, say you want it to be underlined. Just add the U, little underline tags. Just a U. U. Ending. There it's underlined. Say you want it to be bold. Old tags. Now it's bold. Now, um, say you want to add it. Say you want to add a line, just a plain line across the page. There. Now, say you want to set the width of that line. Width equals uh, um, fifty percent. So it goes just there. Now, say you don't want it to be centered. You want to be it to be aligned to the left, like your text is. Add a line equals left, because by default it's centered. And there you go. Now, say you want to make it a set size, like not just half the screen. Say 20 pixels. Just add that. It's 20 pixels. So, okay, um, say you want to have blah, 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 text here. Say you want it to be aligned, so you go like that. Hello. So you're assuming it's going to be, there's going to be a line, a blank space, a blank line in between. Oh, forgot to save it. Blah 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 text here, hello. But it didn't put the space between hello and text here. So what you're going to do is make the BR tag. Now, um, the BR tag is just one thing. It doesn't have to be like BR, BR. 
also, I mean, this will work. I'll show you. But really, generally, it's better to use that. It's more proper. It does the same thing. So we're going to have two lines. The first tag is just going to take it to a new line. The second one will leave a blank line between them. There you go. Now, say you don't want this stuff. You want this stuff to be black still, like normal, not the red and all that. Just close the tag there, and it'll still be normal size. Um, what next? Oh, say you want to add an image. Go to, go to Google. Images. Just a random picture. What the heck is this? Image swirl. Never seen that before. Um. Okay. Um. Background. Oh well. Take the URL. Now you want to embed this image source equals. the image there. Now see how the text is there and there's all that space. Say you want the text all to be wrapped around it. So first of all you're going to want to add your image right before the text that you want wrapped. Um, okay. Now image a lot in equals left. Now your text is going to be right there. Now, say you want to add padding, because there's not really much room there. Now, for this little bit, we are going to use CSS. Image style equals padding 10 pixels. That's a little bit of CSS, but... And as you see, there's padding. Say you just want it to be on the right where the text is. Padding right. Okay. So... Okay, let's add a little more text. Show you how it wraps. What? Okay. Just took a second to load. There. Now, say you want to set the background. Body. Background equals. Just find a new image. Bigger one. There's not any bigger. Um, let's try that. Now, body background equals then the image. Refresh it. It's taking a second to load. Okay, I'm back. I forgot to save it. Um, just go ahead and refresh, and it'll be there. There's your background. Now, say you don't want it to be like that's CSS. I don't know, but okay. So now you've got your background. You've got your image, your wrapped text, say you okay so um now we're gonna show you links now to add a link just go ahead and here copy the link you want so I'll just do Google a href equal in quotations, your URL, then the ending, and then put whatever you want the link to say. This is a link to Google. Add the ending a tag. Not that. Refresh that. This is a link to Google. Click it, and it takes you to Google. Okay. So, <clears throat> so you want to have italic text. Um, just add the, here, I'll do it there. Just add the I tag to the beginning of the text and to the end of the ending I tag. Save it, refresh. This is a link to Google. And it's italic. Now say you want a header right above that text. 
there's H1, H2, H3, etc. Um, I'll do H1. This is a header. And then the ending H1 tag. Refresh. This is a header. There you go. Um, and then there's header 2. It's a bit smaller than header three isn't even smaller, header four, etc. Um okay, that's about wraps it up for part one of this HDML tutorial. Uh, make sure to subscribe, rate, and comment. Thank you.